Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, today, we're going to be farming for the Greater Nature Resist Protection Potion. So, that is a potion that will be used a ton in Phase 5 with AQ because all the bosses in there use them. I know my guild's going to mandate us using them. Um, they just help so much. Everyone can use them. They absorb about 3k, similar to Fire right now, as well as Shadow, if you've been using those for MC and BWL. But anyway, in order to farm this, you come to the Weeping Cave here in Western Plaguelands, right here. Um, if you're Horde, the fastest way I've found to get here is fly to Tarn Mill in Hillsbrad and then just run straight up. Um, from Light's Hope, it's pretty long, and then from Undercity, just dealing with the elevators and getting above ground to then come here, I find Tarn Mill to be the quickest. Um, Alliance, I'd imagine, however, you can get to Chillwind Camp the quickest. Um, I think flying from, uh, Minithel would be your fastest way, because Minithel you can get there from Theramore. But, anyway, just letting you guys know, um, all that fun stuff. But also, I just want to go over quickly, um, yesterday, or last video we had, um, Zul Mashar over here in Eastern Plaguelands, that's the area. I saw in the comments someone said I didn't open my map and show you guys, so I apologize for that. Um, but here is where that video was to farm those powerful mojos. But anyway, we're here. Um, both Rotting Behemoths and the um, other ones, not Vile Slime, they share the similar model. Those all drop the, um, they drop the nature resistance potion. So that's what you're going to want to focus. Um, it looks like it's about a 4% um, percent drop rate is what I'm seeing here. Um, and so you just sort of want to come here and sort of kill them. They're not very difficult. They're a bit spread out. Um, and we'll venture into the cave here and sort of show you what we know from that. But other than that, these things can drop some herbs, I believe. Um, but nothing too crazy. Uh, just really that pattern is what you're really, really, really looking for. And so you just want to come here and kill as many of them as you can. Um, definitely would say focus the behemoths above um, slimes, but if you don't see any behemoths near you, definitely kill the slimes because this whole area shares a spawn rate. So we're going to kill these for a while and see if we can get these greater nature resist uh, potions. And if we can, it'll be awesome. So I will see you guys at the end. Whoop. Alrighty guys, so something quick and important to note here um, when fighting these things is that the Devouring Oozes share a spawn with the Devouring Horrors, so you're going to want to kill them. And as you saw, they started to despawn right there, but these Devouring Oozes spawn Oozlings, and they spawn like three to four of them, and they take a little bit to kill. So when you're in here farming these, just be very, very careful. I actually am just coming back from a death. Um... If you do die, you have to run all the way from the bulwark. And it's about a five, six minute run, I'd say. Um, you'll see right here, this ooze is going to spawn some oozlings, you know. Spawns four of them. And so, while it doesn't seem like that much, if you get a bunch of them and they're pulling them all, that's like 16 things just hitting you at once. So, it can be pretty brutal especially if you lack the aoe that mages have um so just wanted to let you guys know that and it looks like we got a nice little boe 51 um int spirit so that's not horrible but we'll probably end up deing this for the shot at those greater eternals if it doesn't uh, sell but just wanted to show you guys that and to encourage you to kill these oozlings the oozlings do not drop it but the horrors do drop the recipe. So you pretty much just want to kill as many horrors as you can. Doing loops around this cave is probably what I would recommend the best way um, in order to get it. And so we're going to clean up this group right here. Just give you a, another sample of what these oozlings can do when they all spawn at once. So they can mess you up pretty quickly. But we're made, so it kind of worked out. 
and as well as the horrors, the behemoths can respawn here too. So just be sure to kill them and try your best to farm these. If you're the only one here, it's pretty easy, but if there's other people here, uh, just be wary of that and try to, you know, be respectful and work something out with them so you guys aren't just competing for each other and ruin both of each other's farms. Um, but anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that and give you quick tips and pointers to make this farm the best that it can be. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you at the end. Whoop! Alrighty, guys. So, not all is completely lost while you're killing these oozes because I found an oozling, an oozing bag. Now, I'm not too sure what you can open and if these are different than the ones in um, Hinderlands because I've done the little ghost mushroom farming there. But we're going to open this up. It uh, looks about the same. So, that had 10 silver and a life read in it. So, not the most exciting. I thought it would definitely be a little bit more given we hadn't seen much from them. But just want to let you know that that is a possibility and those can have um if they're similar to the ones in hinderlands they can have herbs uh, money and just some nice stuff so it's always hype to open up a bag i'm not sure if they have anything super epic i'll look into that and let you know but just wanted to let you know about those bags and that those are a thing so anyway we'll get back to doing these endless circles looking for these elementals and not oozings and hope for the best so i will see you guys later Bye bye Alrighty, guys so there we have it about 26 minutes in and we already were able to get one of these greater nature um protection pots which as you can see that's what they are the mats are elemental earth dream foil and crystal vial and i have done many elemental earth farms but just wanted to show you that this is pretty legit. Um, we have 59 mob kills, but I have no way of really tracking how many of those are horrors. I would say maybe 20% of those at best. So after about 20 kills, maybe we got that. So just pretty awesome to see. And we've gotten three other BOEs. So just some awesome notable stuff and... Uh, just a pretty easy farm. Literally just run in a circle around the outskirts of this cave, kill the slimes. Um, the orange slimes are a lot nicer to kill than the blue ones. I hate killing the blue ones, but, you know, they are what they are. Um, as a mage, this is pretty easy. Um, I will say I am a pretty geared mage, so I'm just running around and getting it, but I'm just super happy that we got this potion recipe already and just had a nice, easy, quick farm. And yeah, so I hope you guys have very similar luck. Um, pretty much, I don't have anything else to tell you about this farm, so this will be the last little update till the end, unless something freaking crazy happens. So I will see you then, guys. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. So after um, about an hour, we reached 110 kills. Um, pretty freaking good. Uh, people started getting here, so became a bit hectic and sort of had to sit at the back of the cave um, but anyway this is just a super good farm if you can get um, if you get it to yourself it's amazing um, you can just do loops but if you have to come back it's not that terrible it's just you're not gonna be killing things the whole time you can just specialize on killing the behemoths and such um, so just wanted to go over everything we got we got a living essence um, gauntlets uh, arcane uh, leggings, some of that, and we did get the recipe, so that's pretty awesome. Um, something to note, living essences do drop here from them, so that's pretty awesome, cool. Um, and Heart of the Wilds, those are also pretty good. So, I'm gonna gauge this probably at about 75 G an hour, just from what we've done here. Um, just getting a lot of gold, stuff that's gonna sell, um, the four epics, the, or not epics, uh, um, BOEs and the living essence that's just all some good stuff from an hour sample here so that's pretty much all I got for you guys um, again if you want to check out some of the elemental earth videos I've done um, I've pretty much covered every resource that you can do to get um, elemental earth here for this recipe and this recipe is going to be so huge come AQ um, and phase five so just be ready for it um if you don't have it i would get it also it's gonna s probably see a spike around then because every alex is gonna want it if they don't already have it and it's just gonna be more and more contested because it'll actually have a real use so anyway guys that's it and i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time Bye bye
If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know, because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.